Hi, Jess Hoffman with jhoffmanknives.com. I want to do a quick video tonight about a uh, topic that comes up on blade forums and knife dogs quite often, and that is dust collection and spark collection on your grinder. A lot of guys want to use just a, uh, a regular sawdust collection system, and we know that that's not the, the safest way to do it. So I built a pretty easy spark bong, and uh, I, I think it's probably about the best way to collect dust and sparks and I'm going to show you how I built it tonight. Okay, so this is my spark bong. I uh, made it out of a plastic five gallon pail. The top is an offset funnel that I got at the local hardwood hardware store. Um, I like the offset because it uh, has a hole going straight down underneath the belt but it also has the, uh, the catch area here. Um, all I did was took the funnel, welded on an adapter, uh, an exhaust adapter, and then used a exhaust extension pipe down into the top of the plastic barrel. As far as getting the the plastic or the pipe into the top of the plastic barrel, all I did was I heated it up a little bit and pushed it right through. It cut itself a nice perfect hole into the uh, top of the bucket. This is the hose that runs out to the shop vac and I've just got a bracket mounted on the top uh, a flange actually I got it uh, Woodcraft you can order it online at Amazon and it just bolts to the plastic and allows you to um, put the hose in and out. To hold the exhaust pipe in place that, that acts as my spark catcher I just put a, a muffler clamp on the top and on the bottom and I'll open this up here in just a second and show you everything that's inside and how it works. Okay so here's the spark bong with the uh, funnel taken off the top. I'll open it up. I already pried around the edges here to uh, make it easy to to lift off. And that is the wonders that are inside. We've got the uh, pipe that runs all the way through. There is a, a, a hose clamp on there believe it or not underneath all of that gunk. When I put the pipe in I cut it at a bias so um, it can be in the water a little bit and uh, still get air or vacuum through it. So you'll notice the inside of this uh, whole container is just covered with gunk. Everything is pretty damp in here. Um, it's not something that's gonna catch fire very easily and it is something that I uh, I do clean out every once in a while I make sure that I've got plenty of water in there it's kinda nice you can look down the the top of the pipe and you can kinda kick the bucket and you see how much water is in there so that's not quite ready to be cleaned out yet the other part then is Okay, so over here I've got the shop vac that I use for this system and you'll notice that there is about two inches of water in the bottom of it and the sides of it are pretty damp. Um, again, not something that's you know going to be able to catch fire very easily. This is something though that I do check out quite often and I always open it up before I leave the shop for the night to make sure. Um, the vacuum does suck up a, a fair amount of water which is a good thing as far as I'm concerned because it keeps the inside of the hose damp and it keeps the inside of the vacuum damp so we're not going to end up with a, a spark in there that's smoldering. When you start to add the, the air volume from the vacuum going over a spark it can get pretty hot so usually when I get uh, too much water in the vacuum I just scoop it out and dump it right back into the spark bong container and in just a little bit I will fire up the spark bong and or the grinder and show you how well the spark bong works not going to show you my grinding I'm going to show you the uh, the actual vacuum system I appreciate it if you'd like my YouTube channel and also if you'd follow me on Facebook J Hoffman knives and you can go to jhoffmanknives.com to find handle material I've got unique burls and uh, northern Wisconsin curly maple and curly cherry, some nice stuff. So check out my website. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.